some food! Floyd, will you just be quiet? I'll tell you what, I will be quiet when you make me something to eat, then I will be quiet. Do you know how hard it is to get to grips with human food and uh, learn how to cook pizza, 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 Do you mean pizza, Willow? That's the one! Oh, it's so hard to learn to cook without magic. Well, you better get learning because I can't do it. And it's not as if someone's going to drop out of thin air with food. You've got to be kidding me. Hi there, my name is Abby and I'm your next door neighbour. My mum says I should come and introduce myself. Well, I'm Willie the Witch and this is my pet frog, Floyd. It's nice to meet you guys. I have some cake my mum made if you want some. Ooh. Cake? What kind of cake? Vanilla? Chocolate? Oh wait, wait. Red velvet? It's carrot cake. Carrot! Carrot cake! Get out of our house. We don't want you with your vegetables here. D -d -d don't be so rude, Floyd. I'm sorry about that. It's just Floyd tends to get a little bit moody when he's hungry. It's okay. Sometimes I get like that too. Do you know, Floyd? Carrot cake is actually really nice. It doesn't really taste like carrots. Why should I, I mean, we, believe you? Well, it doesn't matter anyway. Everyone knows that you can't have dessert before you've eaten tea. Well, I do know how to make pizza. I can show you how to make pizza if you want. That would be great. Thanks. Okay then. Do you guys know two things we need to do before we start cooking food? Oh, 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 um, 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 well, I've, I've only ever really cooked with magic before, so I, I, I don't really know. It's okay, Willow. I will just tell you. We have to put our aprons on and mm -hmm. wash our hands. Now we wash our hands, we need to check the ingredients. We need pizza dough, passata, mixed herbs, mozzarella, cheddar cheese, and we need a tray for it all to go on. This pizza seems too hard to cook. Don't you humans have an easier way to cook things? It's not hard. Cooking is fun and exciting. Did you find everything? Yep, it's all here. Wow, <laughs> all these ingredients look tasty. I wonder where they all come from. Oh, oh, I know, I know. Why don't you go and find out where all the ingredients come from? We can get all the ingredients ready whilst you're gone. Mm -hmm. Hi Farmer Harry, how are tomatoes growing? Oh hello there Floyd, it's nice to see you. What you got to do when you're growing tomatoes is you got to go and find yourself a nice little spot in the garden. If you can't find yourself one, then just go and get yourself a little plant pot. You fill it three quarters of the way full and then you put your seeds in. How many seeds do you add? 10, 50, 100? Don't need so many Floyd, just tree will do you fine. Okay, so what's next? Well once you've put your tree seeds in your plant pot, you just fill the rest of the layer up with compost and then you just start watering it, but don't water it too much otherwise your seed won't grow. What about after that? Well after that, you need to go and find yourself a nice space to go and put your tomato plant. Uh, possibly you could put it on a windowsill, but if you can't find a space there, just go and find yourself a nice space in the garden. At least there, it'll have lots of sunshine. So how long do tomato plants take to grow? Well that's a fantastic question Floyd. It will take you at least uh, seven days before you'll be able to see any growth at all. 
but you've got to make sure you water it a little bit every day, not too much, otherwise your seed won't grow. So let's recap. Step 1. Find a spot in the garden or a plant pot. Step 2. Fill the plant pot 3 quarters full of compost. Step 3. Place 3 seeds in the plant pot. Step 4. Cover the seed in compost. Step 5. Water the seeds. Step 6. Place the plant in lots of sunlight. Step 7. Water it every day. Step 8. After 7 days, you should see signs of growth. That's awesome. Well, I hope you've had a fantastic time learning about tomatoes, and I hope that you grow some really good ones. I look forward to tasting them, Floyd. See you later now. Bye. Bye. Floyd, you're back. Now you can start making the pizza. Well, we can preheat the oven to 180 degrees. Next, we roll out the dough. Why do we have to roll the dough out ourselves? Making the food ourselves, Floyd, is part of the fun. So, we've got to make sure the dough is a circular shape. Oh, oh, I know, I know. How about we use this mixing bowl to see if it's a circular shape? Good idea, Willow. And also, we have to make sure that the dough is not too thick, but not too thin. Mm -hmm. Willow, why don't you try rolling out the dough? Oh, why don't you do it then, Floyd? I can't. I've not got thumbs. I'm a frog. <laughs> Floyd, you shouldn't be saying nasty things. We're always still learning. Yeah, but you were laughing too. I suppose I was laughing a little bit. Let's get back to making the pizza. Now that the sauce is on, we take a spoon and spread it evenly across the dough. This is the best. More cheese. More cheese. <laughs> I think that's enough cheese. Willow, you can now put it in the oven for 25 minutes. <laughs> but I'm hungry. I want food now. It's not going to be ready yet, Floyd. Oh, you, you could always go and find some interesting food facts. Yeah, I could. I'll go to my den and find some facts out. Bye! Hello, this is Floyd's Fascinating Food Facts, Episode 1. If there's one thing I like to talk about more than food, it's... Wait, who am I kidding? I love food. <laughs> so, did you know the most expensive pizza in the world costs $12,000 to make and takes 72 hours to create. Next up, in the 1800s, ketchup was once used as a medicine. Tastes better than any medicine I've ever had. <laughs> Yesterday, I was told that there are 7,500 variants of apples grown throughout the world and if you tried a new one each day, it would take you 20 years to retry them all. My personal favourite is the toffee apple. <laughs> Did you know that in America each year, around 4 billion pizzas are sold? And finally, have you ever thought about being an astronaut? 
Well, I certainly have been thinking about it now because in 2001, Pizza Hut sent a pizza up to the space station for free. Oh, speaking of food and pizza, I think ours is nearly ready. Why don't you write to us and let us know all of the food facts that you have learnt this week. Bye. <laughs>